one whole onion. I'm going to put that to the side. Actually didn't make me cry. It's not loud, is it? Hi, hi, hi. Don't shoot. You better be watching those good ones. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to rinse my bell pepper off. Another bowl. Take one of those bowls. Um, another one back here. Oh, do we have any left? Oh, okay. All right. Got my red bell peppers chopped up. Y'all see this black on my bell pepper? Y'all think it's okay? It says organic. I just got it today. I don't know. I may cut that part off. So I just don't like the way it looks. rice cooker y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and add the green to the red. Those pretty colors. Okay, I'm gonna leave these to the side. Got the onions and the bell peppers cut up. I got my stir fry beef meat and it's already cut up. So I am gonna rinse this off just a little bit. Some people probably don't rinse their beef off, but I see blood and stuff. I just want to give it a nice little rinse. <clears throat> and then we're going to get this cooking going. Uh, 
if you guys are enjoying this video, make sure you share me out, y'all. It's, it's totally free. Don't forget to hit the like button. Y'all will see me every single day from here on out. I promise myself. Consistency, finally. I ain't got nothing to lose. But that's free. That's showing major support. And for those of y'all who have been um, liking and sharing, I do appreciate it because I did see that earlier today. Y'all were sharing and y'all were liking. Yeah, I can't do all that blood in my knee. Yeah, when you make your stir fry beef like this, do you rinse it? The ones that's cut and strip? But some people don't rinse the beef. They keep saying you don't need to rinse the beef. But I see that blood and I want to rinse. Yeah? Uh, you stir fry the rice. You won't see it until it's almost ready. Okay, okay y'all, so I gave that a, a little rinse down. So I'm going to wash my hands. Give me a couple of uh, Paper towel. You can put that in for here if you want. Trash can. I'm just gonna say you can move that up. Okay, guys. Then I'll medium heat. Go ahead and put a little canola oil at the bottom of my pan. Let that heat up for a minute, y'all. I'm going to need this one. So that can come with me. Where's the pepper thaw in this there? That's about who we want to balance about here. JJ don't want to be on camera. What's up, y'all? Hey, Angel. What's up? Make sure you give me a thumbs up. What's up, Angel? What's up? Make sure you give me a thumbs up. Hey. All right. Look at Jay hiding, y'all. <laughs> okay, come back. Come back. I'm done. <laughs> he tried to sleep. <laughs> oh. The people said, come back. They want you. <laughs> what are y'all doing? Exercise? That is. Y'all are old. Be careful. Okay. We got my onions right here, y'all. Got my onions on deck. Okay. Now, if you ever made stir fry the way I make it, the meats. Hi, Grace. Hey, girl. Hey. Make sure you hit that like button for me. Share me out, Grace. Share me out. Um, when you make stir fry, it needs, it, it needs time to, um, the, I will say develop. It needs time for that meat to get tender. Because when I first made stir fry, I rushed it, and that meat was definitely not tender. So that's a mistake I'm never going to make again. So, now that my oil's heating up, I'm gonna go ahead and put in my onions. Jay, you left us? Jay left. Hope y'all don't hear my dryer. Oh, thank you. She said, dazzled you out. Period. <laughs> Move that around a little bit. Move that around a little bit. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm like ADHD. I can't help it. <laughs> like, I'm like really like this in real life. 
Okay. We want those to get a little softer. Hey, hey. Oh, let me tell you. Hold on. While that's doing this thing, y'all. I use La Choy soy sauce. This is the best soy sauce, hands down. I don't care. Nobody say I was raised off La Choy. My mother used La Choy soy sauce with all of her Filipino dishes, and I love it. So I use this to make my stir fry sauce. I also use a little bit of this rice vinegar. You can get at any, I think you can even get this at Walmart. But I got mine from um, an international store. You're also going to need brown sugar. I pray I got brown sugar so I'm about to be mad. Oh, I do. Yay. I need to buy some more though. You're going to need some brown sugar. Okay. Y'all know I stay with minced garlic. Love me some minced garlic. that I'm going to use, okay? The seasonings I'm going to use, one is some salt. Can y'all see? Salt. I'm sorry if y'all can hear my dryer because it's literally like right next to the phone stand. Got the salt. You're gonna need some garlic powder. I don't do measurements, I just pretty much know. So, yeah. Um, my onion powder, don't forget your onion powder. Okay. Don't be afraid to season that food, y'all. You gotta season that food. Pepper. favorite sasoyan just a little bit of that I put that in, I put this in everything I literally put this in everything y'all everything well all my meats I love it now I'm gonna go stirring I got my rice cooking in the rice cooker Y'all know that sasoin gives it that color. Not that it's gonna matter anyway because I'm gonna add my sauce and stuff. It's a simple recipe. The only thing that takes time about making the stir fry that I make is, like I said, letting it cook for a while on like low to medium so the meat can be tender. But other than that, easy peasy. So I'm gonna put the top, you guys, on there. Now we're gonna do the sauce so that's doing this thing. Let's get the sauce going. I'm gonna put my sauce in here. Let's see if y'all can see. Are y'all talking? 
Oh, okay. So I got the bowl. I'm sorry, I don't have measurements, but what I can do, I can actually link the YouTube video where I got my recipe from, because I think they, um, yeah, they put measurements on there, so I can do that. But I've been making this a lot so much that I just pretty much know. So I kind of put some soy sauce in there. I know exactly how much soy sauce. Okay. Okay, that right there is it. Maybe half a cup, I would say. I don't know. Um, my rice vinegar. I put a cap of rice vinegar my sauce. So the cap is filled. I pour that in the soy sauce. My oyster sauce. Y'all, this is the oyster sauce that I use. You can get this from an international store and I believe Walmart carries this as well. Okay. I'm going to add a little bit of that in there. Not too much of that. And of course, you're gonna need some brown sugar. Right, you gotta sweeten it up. So, here's one teaspoon, that's definitely not enough. Two teaspoon, and then one more. It just all depends on how you, you know, sweet you want yours. And I'm just gonna mix it up so everything dissolves. Just like that. All right? Everything is dissolved. That sugar, everything. Take the top off this bad boy. From here, go ahead and add your bell peppers. them around. And this is also the part where you add your minced garlic. Okay. So I have my minced garlic right here. These fruit fly, whatever that fruit fly, oh my God, get out, get out, get out. <clears throat> so I'm going to take a look like two big, I love garlic guys. So I don't know how much, but one and then maybe like one and a half. Okay. Mix that around. Look at the colors of those bell peppers. So you're just gonna mix that around. And then basically after that, guys, you take this sauce. Are y'all talking to me? Oh, uh, thank you, Angel. Yeah, send it to me. We'll do it. That's crazy you said ice cream cake because tonight me and the kids are going to make um, our own ice cream sandwiches. So I'm just basically going to like bake cookies until I learn how to make them from scratch. So I'm going to bake the Pillsbury cookies, let them cool down, and then we're going to put ice, vanilla ice cream in between. Okay, y'all. Oh, hold on. I can see it didn't dissolve everything. Hold on. Now, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and pour all this over. Okay. everything in that bowl. Now I'm going to go ahead and put my temperature on low to medium. Mix this. And I'm also going to add a little broth. Beef broth. I hope I got beef broth, but I'm pretty sure I do. Yay! I'm going to add a little beef broth. like that and you're gonna basically put the top and just let this thing simmer until that meat is tender okay I learned my lesson because the first time like I said I ever made this I was rushing the process and the meat was not tender I was so mad and then put the top and just cook it until your meat is tender that's it 
And I'm not going to stay on the live the whole time while this is simmering, but I just wanted to show y'all. You said, that's amazing. That sounds like fun. Can I come? Yes, you're welcome, Grace, to come anytime you want. Yeah, but send me the recipe. That's, yes. Anybody who has a recipe you want me to make, please send it to me. Just send it in the um, inbox. But I'm going to go ahead and get off of here. I really enjoyed being on the live. I'll probably come back later tonight when me and the kids are making the cookies with the ice cream. And don't forget to share the video if you haven't already. Don't forget to like if you haven't already. Do all those things. Emojis, everything. That helps me get seen by thousands and thousands of other people. And it helps me and my family. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and get off of here. I will do a reel of how this came out though. Okay, so I know y'all probably like, no, stay. I am not staying for this. So this is going to cook low and slow. Um, and I got things I got to do. But... Like I said, I will do a reel so you will see it when it's done. All right, y'all? So it's your girl, Tisha Marie. Until next time, bye.